Okay, let's talk about emails, email automation, uh, targeted emails, email campaigns, all kind of under the same roof. So the first thing you want to do is go into Act, click on the Impact Settings, go to Email Automation. And from here, you want to click Start here to add email automation. Add a custom table for our tracking purposes. So you want to say Add Now. Okay, it's done. We'll say okay. And now we can create our first email campaign. So let's click on the create button. This window gives you the campaign name and a campaign number. The campaign number you cannot change because it's used for the automation purposes. It's the internal ID. But I'll call it a test, test to old um, contact. Okay, our email editor is forward, and we can just start by saying, you know, uh, dear uh, Tom, Bob, or whatever. We can add in the uh, field name here. So if we say insert a field, here's all the fields inside of Act. So I'm going to go down to first name, and I'm just going to double click on it, and you can see it indicates that we have the first name. Uh, love to talk to you about our new product line. Uh, call me at. So what I want to do now is select who it's going to. And these are your emails inside of your Act database. So we have a personal email and we have just an email uh, field. If you have secondary email fields and such like that, husband and wife email fields, you would be able to select those. So I'm just going to select the personal email and then the subject line. What is new in impact? And even on the subject line, we could say insert a field. Uh, how's the state of New Jersey doing? Things like that, of course. Um, so I've selected what email address it's going to, what the subject line is, and a simple body. And what I want to do from here, let's close down the fields, we don't need them displayed over here, is I want to select who I'm sending it to. And if I have a groups here, now that's your act groups, and inside of all your groups, I'm going to say show the counts. So it's going to show me the counts. So I have customers, database users. Let's just select uh, database users. You can be any criteria that you want in your group, but database user. And I am going to say, save and close. That's it. I've created a very simple. If I want to send this email out, I can just click on the send button and I'll send out nine emails capped to 200. So if you select it, a database list of 4,000, it's going to cap you at 200, and you can modify that cap number. Now, remember, if it's sending out through Outlook or Gmail or whatever you have installed, it's using your local email account. So you don't want to send out 20,000. We are not a broadcast system. In fact, if you try to do that, your email will be flagged as a spammer. What we want to do is, this is a targeted email. I want to send out emails to people I have not touched in a year, haven't called us, and we have no contact in the last year with them, but they were our client. And again, that's where this database users comes in because you can filter it. What is nice about Impact Email Automation is you can set this up on a schedule. You can say, hey, Jim, oh, it's 200 emails, but I do have 400 or 1,000 people I want to contact. What we do is we send it out on a daily. Uh, daily basis. So this is a daily send limit. So it's 200 per day. So what we want to do is we want to tell the system, well, send out emails every day for the next 10 days, 200 a day until I cover all my 2000 contacts that I want to attach. I want to create an email, send it to them. All right. So what we do here is we go to the schedule. So let's just set up a schedule. Schedule. Now, the schedule can run at 
4 a.m. You don't have to be logged in to act. So it, the scheduler is automated in the background. Again, act doesn't have to be running. Computer has to be on, but act doesn't have to be running. So at this point, we need to enter in the username and password to connect to the database. So we'll say okay to that. And up comes the standard Windows uh, task scheduler. So we can see that the general stuff is in, in here. And I just want really want to go to my triggers. And this default trigger is says every day, I'm sorry, daily, every day at 2 a.m. And if I edit this trigger, I can set down my own pattern. Again, this is a recurrence pattern. You can say once, weekly, every third Thursday of the month, things like that. I'm just going to change it to, you know, like again, 6 a.m. Or I want to maybe I say 10 because it gets into their inbox. They see a new email uh, on that rather than it just being one of the many emails they're scrolling through in their morning view of their emails. So I'm going to say send it at 10 a.m. Uh, daily. Um, and we'll say okay to that. And now we have a 10 a.m. schedule. And I'm going to say okay. So now we can see is that this email is running. It's scheduled to start 10 a.m. tomorrow. I could stop the whole campaign or I can go in and say, let me change the time. Maybe 10 a.m. is the greatest one. So you can change the schedule at any time. So this is now scheduled to run. And what I'm going to do here for purpose of this demo, database users is nine. So I'm actually just going to, again, purposes of a demo, I'm going to say, I only want to send out two pieces of email a day and to these nine users. So I'm going to save this. And it is now set up. As we can see, we have a schedule set. It's set to a group of database users. The total number in that group is nine users. We've sent out zero so far, and we have the daily limit set to two. Okay. If you want to run your emails manually, uh, let's just go back here and modify this. I'm modifying it, so it just gives me a warning that, or it just gives me a message that, hey, this campaign is running every day. So I'm just going to stop this campaign because I want to run it manually for the purposes of this demo. So here it is again, test to old contacts, subject line, not scheduled, and again, database user. So I am going to just say, Send this out now. Are you sure? The daily limit is two. Yes. There it goes. It sent out the two emails. So campaign completed. So you notice it will give us a message completed. And our total is still nine, but we've sent two uh, out of the daily. So we've sent out two emails. It could have been 200 emails, but we just sent out two emails. And if you want to do it manually again and come back in tomorrow, what will happen is you just select it and say, send now. So again, now let's send out to the next two. And again, campaign was completed and sent out to two. And there's our limit. Sorry, our total nine sent four. If we go and look at the history, it's going to show us these four records. There's more detail in there, but it shows us we sent out four. The reason why there's a history is it doesn't resend it to the user's every time. Let's modify this and let's just say, hey, I want to send out 20 pieces a day. So now it's sent out 20 and we have a count of nine sent four. So we really only have five in there. So what happens now when it kind of rolls over on itself? Well, let's just send this out again. Okay, campaign was completed, sent out five emails. And now we have a total of nine sent in the group of nine. Um, so we've completed it. So the history is there's nine events, campaigns, and emails that have been sent out there. Uh, so if I try to send it again, it's going to say, well, there's nobody in there to send. So campaign completed immediately because every one of those nine users. Now, what's nice about this is, say if you set this up to say, I want all the users I last reached date is greater than a year. Well, what's going to happen is as this runs every day, it's going to pick up in that group contacts based on your daily work. And it's going to send those users a new email. So you're going to have this running in the background 
and it's a kind of a set it, forget it. And every time somebody rolls off uh, the one year mark, you'll send an email to them. Okay, this was just the uh, quick top level overview. Uh, if you want to look at our detailed, look on the deep dive uh, video for uh, more details on email campaigns. Thank you very much.